dude, um, MCU has started, so they're gonna stay home, and Unistar wants us to go with online classes. So, uh, good luck. something? My topic? Learning experience. MCO, post MCO. Okay, okay, okay. Before that, what is COVID? COVID is a really, really bad virus that affected the whole community around the globe. And it has spread to Malaysia. And most learning institutions had to shut down because to prevent the virus to spread around most students and the lecturers or the teachers itself. So, let's continue. What is my experience during the MCO and the post MCO? Online class. Ah. I'm so sorry. So, this is my this is my first point. First, most students are not open up to this type of new learning, which is the online learning. Like if your lecturer, which you were in a diploma or the foundation, your lecturer has taught you to teach you in online learning classes, you will adapt to that type of learning. So you will have no problem in physical classes. That's during the MCO. So for me, I never, never, ever, ever, never, ever faced any online classes. It gave me a hard time to understand the subjects. But after, after, which is the post MCO, I started to understand the subjects for my next semester and the others because I get to meet my lecturers. And then after that, during the online, I have no problem with, with not understanding, with understanding or not understanding. Because I can ask my lecturer, and I can meet him here also. You need some more. Because we are in front of our laptops or our PC or our phones. So the only thing we need we we need hoodie. Shorts, you can take it, so alarm, up to you. We don't know. Just don't show it to the plus lap. Okay, okay, don't don't show, uh, don't show, no fish show. Next, the post MCO. The post MCO is where the physical class starts and the online class starts. So that means there's times where you can just wear underwear and a hoodie. And the second part is where you have to wear fully clothed, fully clothing to just attend your class, okay? To look presentable to your lecturer. So, which one do you pick? Online classes or physical classes? Hoodies or underwear or footwear? Oh, distractions. Distractions. Okay, during the MCO, there's a lot of distractions, such as your mom calling you. Atari, come do what? Come basuh baju for me. Do all the cleaning for me, can ah? Like that. And then sometimes my my sister. Atari, can you come get this for me? Can you come get get this for me? Or also my dad could be the same thing. Atari, can you go? Can you go take this from upstairs? Can you go take this from downstairs? Those are all distractions. Because it could happen during my class and me doing my assignments. Okay, so post MCO, post MCO. Okay, we're all back in uni. Okay, imagine that we're all back in uni. So lecturer said we can have physical class. 
So, during our physical class, you will focus on your lecture because the you're gonna be not looking at the lecturer. Oh no, you're gonna get smacked. <laughs> smacked? I don't know. Reported? I don't know. What do you think? You know, MCO. Attendance, easy. Do you know why? Like this. And like this. Present. That's how easy it is. You just, the lecturer gives you the password, you put the password in, you set, you put present, submit attendance. Easy stuff, bro. Easy. No need. But for post MCO, right? Come here, come here. For most physical classes, the lecturer you have to take your name or call your name to say that you to say that you're alive or exist in the class, which means that yeah, I'm in class. Which one do you think is better? Which one do you think is easier? Um, who's MCO? MCO. Button, handwritten. What do you think? Oh, so conclusion: physical or face-to-face -face classes are better because you can understand the subjects better, and you can meet the lecturer, and also you can meet your friends to talk about the assignment together, and then work it out. Because for me, online classes, it's okay, but it's not going to be effective if you're not the one that who's easy to adapt to, type, to new type of things. Like, it's okay. Like, learning football, easy. You just need to kick and then the people will teach you. But it's not easy to learn football when you learn online such as, you know how to kick, you know how to kick, you don't know. Same thing as Taekwondo. The coach needs to teach you how to kick. Same thing. If you kick wrongly, at least he can teach and put the height on your leg so he can raise your leg up. But if you learn it online, the kick that you, you, that you do will never be effective. Will never, ever, ever be effective. So for me, physical classes are the best. I think are the best for me and the best for the, for the students. Online classes, I think it's a no. Yalah, go eat lah, go eat. Yeah, he's not more that way, he's not more. Oh my god.